Hey guys, this is Tanya here. Um, today I'm working on a project because the last time I went camping to try out the van, um, I found a lot of bugs at the lake and I ended up with a whole bunch of mosquitoes in here and that was not very fun. So I found some screens that might work for the van. So I'm going to have to do some sewing and putting them together to see how they're going to work out. So today's project is screens for the van. Sing out your wins and trials like a melody Ride the storms with your head held high We only breathe till the day we die Bring on the fire, bring on the rain Nothing can take you down Okay, the van has, you know, back the the back doors and the side doors so I'm going to try to make these screens work for both so let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about and what we're working with okay here is the big door slider so I want to make sure that um, the screen will cover the slider and then there's the back door so I'm trying to use the same screen on either location and we're, what we're working with is I bought these they are butterfly instant mesh guard, perfect for camping, pets, etc. Anyway, I bought two of them because um, they were only 40 inches wide, and I know that my opening is at least six, around 60 inches. And then here they are. I just took them out of the package. So there's four. They are like this. They come two in a package, and then down the middle are the magnets. And so I have four of those all together. And these are also come out of the package. They are Velcro strips that stick on. And then these are little, if you were putting them into wood, some tacks. But we're not working with wood, so I won't be using those at all. I'm going to just, I'm actually not going to use any of these. I'm going to try some um, magnetic clips to see if that holds it onto the van. But anyway, this is what we're working with. This is the material. It's a sheer screen, but it already has butterflies on it, and that's all they came with. I didn't see any that didn't have the butterflies. So we're working with butterflies, and we will see how it goes. I'm going to clip this to the van and see what exactly I have to sew and see if it's even going to fit. So here is my screen. I've got a couple of clips on it to start with. So I'm hoping that it will stay. Let me get some more clips and we'll see how it's going to work. All right, sorry. to magnetize together. So these two I'll have to sew together. And I'm hoping that once that's sewed together I'll be able to come in and out through here and that this will stay magnetized. Put a couple more clips on to make sure it's going to work. They definitely, the magnets definitely work. They are working to magnetize to this outer part. And so I need to sew these together and get them all straight. And I think it's going to cover nicely and work nicely. It's, it's all done, so. This is so, yeah, that's going to, it's going to work. Just going to hold this together for now. 
so to get the idea, but you, you would come through here where the magnets are, and then hopefully it's going to come back together when everything is done like that. And it should make a good screen, and then it should also fit on the back of the van. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the outside. They're 20 inch panels, there's three of them, so that makes 60 inches that I've used. And if you look up close, you're going to see the clips. They're super handy. They magnetize right on the van. And this part, where this clip is, will be all sewn. So the only entrance will be here, where the magnets are. And hopefully, when it's all sewed and everything, you can go in and out. And hopefully, they will magnetize back together. So, I think it's going to work. So now I'm just going to sew this seam and then I will show you the finished product. So I've got my black thread and my needle and hopefully this makes a really good screen so we can keep all the bugs out. Nothing more miserable than trying to sleep with a bunch of bugs zooming around you. And I like to have my tablet with some movies loaded at night so with the screen on the tablet there was mosquitoes which sucked. So, this is going to be way better, and luckily I've been hand sewing things since I was a really young child. So, Ta-da! Alright. I try not to overlap them too much because I want to keep the width. And these doors behind me aren't, aren't as wide as the um, slider, so I can easily clip the same sh screen onto the back here and leave those doors open if I want. So that'll be nice. I can move it to wherever I need it. And the butterflies are fine for me, but Derek isn't in love with them, obviously. He doesn't want butterflies on the van, but... They were only $5 a piece for two, you know, there was a set, a set in each box, $5 for each set, so only $10, so that is super cheap. So I'm literally making screens for $10 and some clips. I do not remember how much the, um, I'm hoping I can do a link to these. I can find a link for you guys so you guys can get these. Um, I bought them at Smart and Final here in Bakersfield, but um, you might be able to find them some, I'll try to find them somewhere else and put a link or if I can find them, put a link for you guys. And um, I'll definitely put a link in the description about the clips that are on Amazon as well. So you guys can find those because then you would know that three panels work perfect on the Ram Pro Master and probably work on um, other vans as well. And I'm doing this from our Sticks and Bricks house. Um, we can't be gone in the van right now um, because of the whole coronavirus pandemic and um, the VA has to put the lift on the van for Derek to be able to come along so otherwise I'm going to be doing solo trips until then because everything's in slow motion because of the pandemic. Um, the VA is not producing the lifts and not the VA, the manufacturer of the lift is you know working on a skeleton crew and they're barely producing um, them right now so there's a hold up with manufacturing so it's not the VA, the VA has been is great to him it's the uh, manufacturer so um, it's just kind of putting things on hold so we're, we're having to um, stay at our sticks and bricks um, plus you know with the whole nothing being open anyway 
problem. We're at least, it's at least giving us time to get the van all completely ready and everything. So that, that's a that's a plus. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Let me show you guys. It's up on the van. And there it is. It's working. This is all sewed up right here. Sewed together. So now there's a seam. So now it's only two pieces instead of the three but it seems like it's going to work you can step out you can step out and it just goes right back together like that and it covers the height of the van and as long as you leave it outside the van it should be okay and as you can see I have a lot of the I have clips on the side so and clips at the top and on the side this side because there was already some magnets it just automatically magnetizes to the side of the van so I don't have to have clips on this side because this is the side that would magnetize to the other piece so anyway We'll give it a go. It looks like it's going to be a good thing. And hopefully it keeps some mosquitoes out. I think that it looks really cute with the um, sides pulled back so I guess when you don't need it and there's not bugs out like during the day you can just pull it back like curtains anyway I thought that was really cute so if you found this valuable and you want to see more then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and you will get fun travel videos and information about disabilities and more tips on everything you can do to help improve your experience living van life.